Well, recently, Georgia producers were given an opportunity to learn more about precision agriculture. At the University of Georgia's Tifton campus, well over 100 farmers gathered to learn how their farming operations are enhanced by technology. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has the report. Georgia producers, as well as most farmers in America, have transformed growing the nation's food supply from a low-tech business into an extremely high-tech operation. From satellite-guided systems to computer-generated yield monitors, all the way down to monitoring soil moisture so the computer can control irrigation pivots. Precision agriculture is everywhere. And the technology is not just fun to look at. It is vital to enhancing the farmer's bottom line. That is why the auditorium at UGA's Tifton Campus Conference Center was full of eager farmers who want to learn more. I think many people are getting the message that uh, to improve their efficiency and to improve their profitability, they have to learn how to manage the information we can now measure in these fields. So this workshop is all about how do we apply these lessons, how do we apply this technology to make better decisions. And it's not just precision farming anymore, now I'm calling it decision farming. We've transitioned to that stage of using the data, the information to make better decisions. One of the first things you notice listening to experts in the field is that you see a lot of colorful maps. But behind all these colors is the key to saving valuable farm resources. It is. Maps are the best way for us to visualize the spatial variability, the differences that exist in our soils, our yields, and so on. And so we, we try to use maps to always convey the differences in terms of space. It's the best way to visualize this. And so, um, you know, colors are also used to, to show the magnitude of differences, so where you have a lot of profit versus where you have some loss in your field. Colors make that easier to understand versus tables and, and the written word. Over the years, the University of Georgia has worked hard to develop new technologies and strategies to enhance farming. And those strategies have made their way into the private sector, where farmers can implement them. Much of the technology we're developing is designed so that um, it can be moved to the farm pretty quickly. And the best way to do that is to allow companies that already exist to license the technology and start offering to the farmers. But I see really what, where the future lies is, is both for farmers, but also consultants who advise farmers to be able to offer better services to the farmers. So services that allow them to make better decisions about how they invest the resources to produce a yield in the field. Those in the industry feel these high-tech innovations are not luxuries, but necessities on farms who have to churn out big yields year after year, not only to stay profitable, but to feed an ever-growing population of hungry consumers. I think what we're going to see is an explosion of smart sensors that are cheap, reliable, and easy to use, and that's going to really allow us to be able to measure all kinds of things in our fields and, and make better decisions from the information that these things are, are reporting to us. Plus, uh, the explosion of wireless technology is going to make all this remote so we don't have to go out there and collect data. We'll be able to get it on our smartphone. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.